Hey there. Welcome to Gremlins 2. The definitive Gremlins 2 experience. I'm Seven is Yellow, and this is a very special episode to my heart. Because this game is, like, as far as I can tell, the first memory I ever formed. Um, I have a very vivid memory of that opening cutscene, and another scene later on in this game, from when I was, like, two or three years old and my grandmother was, um, playing it while babysitting me. And, uh, like, I've always, I've always thought it was, like, a really cool game. I never, I don't, I don't know that I played it myself when I was th that young. Um, according to my uncle, the first game I ever played was, uh, Kirby. But, um, but this was, this was, I don't know, I have this very vivid memory of this game. So I went back to it, um, a couple years ago. Like, I, you know, I dug out my NES and I went back to it and I love this fucking game. I could not believe that it actually holds up, that it's actually a fun game to play. Um, because I was like, oh, you know, a movie tie-in from the fucking early 90s, or no, not even, it was late 80s. Um, and... Oh, yeah. Good. A lot, lot of good that did. That kills all the enemies on screen, and there were none on screen, so... Anyway. <laughs> um, I just, I was like, there's no way, there's no way it can be good. Um, and it's fucking awesome. It's probably the most fair NES game. Okay, good, I have enough for a life. It doesn't tell you what any of these fucking things do, um, but this is health, obviously. This saves you from a pit one time, uh, and this is a life, and the lives are always more worth it. Um, but you can only buy one thing. It's like, why give me all this money and make it money-based if I can only choose one thing anyway? Anyway. Um, this is like the most fair NES game I've ever played, um, because it doesn't... It doesn't give you continues. It doesn't make it about, like, starting the whole game over to extend its, you know, playtime. Um, you don't start with any extra lives. If you die, you just you start the level over. There's no checkpoints. If you get an extra life, you can start from exactly where you die. But getting extra lives is a very rare occurrence. Um, which way do I fucking go? I don't... Um, oh, there's nothing over here. Um, so right now I have one extra life, because I just bought it in the shop. And it... Your health carries over until you beat a boss, and then it fills back up. And there are bosses. Um, God, when I was growing up, I was like, I was like, what the fuck is this? There's giant spiders, and there's big killer tomatoes, and I was like, there's no way any of this was in the fucking Gremlins 2 movie. Because I'd never seen Gremlins 2 until, like, recently. Um, I saw Gremlins 1 when I was younger. But, but like, all, all this shit is in the movie in, like, very scarce quantity. Like, the tomato is in it for, like, a second. It's not, like, a fucking enemy. Um, but I don't know. They, they, they basically, like, it was a Japanese team that looked at this game and, or, you know, looked at Gremlins 2, the movie, and was like, how can we incorporate these elements into a fun game and not actually worry about if it represents the plot of the movie? Get the fuck over here. Get over here! Um, it gets pretty hard, but, like I said, it's always relatively fair. Um, it's one of those NES games that I look back on, and I feel like not that many other people played it, but it's fucking awesome. Like, I played this more than Mario 3, for sure. Which I definitely never beat. Um, I never beat this as a kid, either, but I, I beat it more recently. Um, ooh. The spiders can shoot stuff at you, but it's very inconsistent. It's kind of like... I don't know. It's scary, right? Because they don't... They, they don't have any really, like, pattern to how they shoot. Oh, yeah, great. Like, I need that now. This is great, though, isn't it? Like, Gizmo's so happy. He's, like, fighting off fucking monstrosities. And why are there no humans in this lab? Oh yeah, another life. 
I'm really ahead of the game, which is great. Um, fuck. What's gonna come at me? Um, look at Kismo's li like, it, like it's like two pixels, but you can tell he's smiling. And, like he's having a good time, fighting off giant tomatoes and bats for some reason. Is there an NES game that doesn't have bats in it? I don't think so. If you can find me an NES game without bats as enemies, I will n not be that surprised because of course there are. Like, I don't think Kirby had bats at the time, but that's not the point. This is the cutscene that I have a very vivid memory of. Um, I think it like upset me when I was little. That Gizmo was like freaking out and then there's the scary gremlins. I don't know, I don't know why. Not that they're, like, they're kind of doofy looking at this point, but... <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember this movie very well. Or at all. The first one's great! Um, look at how sad he is. See, when I saw this when I was, like, a baby, and I was like, no! Gizmo's so sad, I don't want Gizmo to be sad, even though I didn't know what Gizmo was. Anyway, so now I have a match, and it just straight up, like, shoots fireballs and eradicates enemies, and it's like, yeah, that's that's how matches work, it's fine. Also, there are fucking, like, heat-seeking landmines in the vents. What is wrong with this company? <laughs> Not the game-making company, the, you know, the science people that made the gremlins. Um, there's a decent amount of, like, branching paths, but a lot of them don't go anywhere, as you can see. But, I don't know. It was interesting. Especially considering I played it when I was, like, three. Uh, I don't know that I actually played it when I was three, but I certainly saw it. Aw, oh, yeah. Pogo. That wasn't super useful. It doesn't... I don't remember ever seeing that. You see that little shadow guy? That I don't remember ever seeing that. Oh, yeah. Shop. Good. It's important to always find the shops. Um, oh, this is good. This upgrades my weapon. It makes it do that. Which actually is not the best power-up in the world, because later later power-ups you get kind of go, like, in diagonals in, like, all eight directions, and that's awesome. This one is not the most useful, but, eh, better than nothing. Don't, 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 just don't. I have way more money than I need, unless I get a game over. I think you lose all your money when you get a game over, but... Well, I say game over, but it's really just, you know, dying at all without any extra lives. Because there's no sense of continues and you don't start with any lives, which, I don't know. I can't think of any other games that do that. Uh, like, nowadays, games always... And that, that's, that's one of the things that I, I wanted to talk about, is like, this game... A lot of the things that it does are things that modern games do. Where, like, you have infinite tries, but if you... If you die, you start the area over. Um, and then you have to, like, build your money back up. Like, you lose all your money, you lose your power up, or whatever. Um, but there's never a point where you can run out of continues and have to start the whole game over. And it's always, it's never about, like, building up lives, because it's always, it always starts you at zero, no matter what you do. Um, which is interesting. I can't think of any other NES games that did that, or even, even for a while after that. Like, even games that were clearly meant to be, like, um, pretty relaxing for kids, like Kirby, uh, which I fucking love Kirby, but... Even games like that, um, they, they had lives. This guy is a fucking pain in the ass. You guys just, like, time it perfectly. Um, I realize I'm not going to be as funny in this episode, um, as I am during horror games, because I'm actually, like, concentrating on what I'm doing which is not something you'll usually see out of me, but, you know, for skill-based games, I don't tend to have as much time to focus on what I'm saying. But, you know, I don't plan to play a lot of skill-based games, actually, because I'm not 
Like, it's, it's not generally what I play. I'm very much into, like, RPG horror and, um, weird experimental games and, like, narratives like Stanley Parable and Gone Home. I love, love games like that. Um, and when I was younger, I would always play skill-based games, but nowadays, not so much. Um, but, you know, there's a soft spot in my heart for Gremlins 2. And lots of other old games like that. I played a lot of Ninja Gaiden growing up. And that... Well, if I ever let's play it, I'm not going to finish it. Because it is absolutely preposterous. It is so hard. I went back to it not that long ago. And, um... I beat it, but I had to state save, like, 50 times during the last boss. Like, it's impossible! The last boss, particularly, is impossible. Um, because if you die at any point during the last boss, you go back to the beginning of the last world. Like, not the last level, but the last world, which is like, I don't know, half an hour of playtime. No matter what point you die on during the final boss, and it has a bunch of phases, too. Um, no matter, it doesn't matter how many lives, like, throughout the whole game you have lives. And you always, oh, whoops, well, that's fine. I'll start right here, but I still have two lives. Um, that's the that's the advantage of being good at the beginning of this game, because it's relatively easy, is you can kind of build up lives, because you will definitely need them later. Um, but so, Ninja Gaiden was so dumb, like, it had, it had lives, and throughout the whole game, you're reliant on your lives, and then at the end, it's like, nah, you just, you just go back, like, half an hour, it's fine. It doesn't matter how many lives you had. And getting a game over at that point actually does the exact same thing. So at the final boss, the lives just stop mattering. Which I thought was, like, a real cop-out. Like, why even have the live system in place if it's not going to matter at the most crucial part? Like, I don't know. I feel like this game doesn't get enough attention for being... Uh, it, you, like, it, a lot of the conventions in this game are still used in modern games. Damn, I am rocketing through this. I don't usually do so well. It's because I was practicing before. Not to ruin the illusion, but I was totally practicing. Um, because this game, while much easier than many NES games, is still fucking hard. Um, but I pretty much got it down. Especially because those lives I built up earlier. Those will very much serve me in the future. I want to say that your health restores after this boss fight, but I, I don't really want to find out. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> Thanks for that. Whatever the fuck your name is. I don't remember... I don't remember what any of the gremlins' names are. Um, except for Gizmo. I really liked Gizmo when I was little. I, I never saw gremlins like when it first came out, because um, like, my mom thought it was too scary. Um, but, uh, I'm gonna try to edit those flashes down. I don't know how successful I'll be. I'll put up a warning if I'm not successful, because, oh my god, there is some serious, like, seizure flashing at the end of this game, and I'm definitely gonna try to edit it out, but if I can't, I apologize, and I will definitely put up a warning, um, because it is bad. It is, like, full screen, all color flashing for, like, a good five seconds, and it's so obnoxious. It's when you beat the final boss, it does that. Which, I guess back then they thought that a seizure was a nice reward for beating a game, but nowadays it's not really as accepted. Man, I don't think Gizmo had to go through all this in the movie. I know he did a lot, but Jesus Christ, fucking like, gauntlet of torture. I don't remember these big spiked balls on chains from Gremlins. Oh, man. These guys are much more intimidating than they actually, like, are. Their bark is worse than their bite, as it were. Oh, that's another thing that's, that's cool about this game. Um, other games did do this. Uh, so, oh, wait, fuck. I don't know if the power thing will matter. I don't know if it'll give me- like, I already have the power upgrade. I don't know if it'll give me more. Probably not. I'm gonna get the balloon. 
because I will need those later. Um, I, I, other games did this. I know Zelda 2 did this, but not a lot of NES games did, where um, the enemies don't respawn, like ever. If you go off screen or if you go in the shop, oh, fuck, waste my balloon. Oh well. Um, if you go off screen or you go anywhere, um, the enemies do not respawn once you kill them. They are dead once you kill them, and I think that's cool. Uh, not a lot of NES games were able to do that. A lot of a lot of NES games had enemies like spawn and respawn every time you like stepped away even slightly. Uh, that drove me crazy in Mega Man. But I don't know. I don't I don't know what the like algorithm is for for the game determining that you, algorithm is not the right word there. But bear with me. I'm not a game designer. Um, for, you know, for determining, uh, whether an enemy is dead and if it can stay dead. Because a lot of them just spawned, uh, like the old games, like Mega Man, spawned enemies based on screen position. And it is so hard to face diagonally in this game and stay that way. Oh, God! Why? Why did I do that? Ah, uh, get me the fuck out of here. Alright, well, now I don't have any balloons. But, got a decent amount of health. Oh yeah, here's where shit starts to get a little crazy. A little crazy. CCN. The... I, you know, I was about to make a joke and I realized I don't even know what CNN stands for. I, I know that one of those ends stands for news, but... I don't... I, 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 it, I've never thought about it before. That, I, that never... It, Never occurred to me to question what CNN stood for, or if it even stands for anything, until just now. I, I'm, I'm having a, I'm having a, a bit of a, a, bit of a crisis, actually. Oh fuck! Oh god, that was close. These are bullshit. Uh, luckily, falling in a pit does not kill you. It's just like Zelda style. It um, takes a point of damage, which makes the balloons not super necessary, but. They make things easier because they let you, um, they let you skip the section, basically. If you die in a pit, instead of taking damage, you get to just skip it. You can, like, float on for a little while, which is cool. Like, like I said, this game is very fair. It thinks about the player. Um, which I feel like a lot of NES games didn't do. They just, um, they, well, because they couldn't be, like, long games. They had to, they were all short. Um, and this game is pretty short. Um, but most NES games wanted to last a while, so they padded their length with the fact that if you died, you had to restart the entire fucking game. Or, you know, if you lost all your continues. Um, which, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't like that. It's not, <clears throat> it's not the worst thing in the world. Oh god, I'm on a boss fight, aren't I? Oh god. I'd like to not lose any lives here because my health will restore if I manage to not get hit, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> huh? The bosses don't have that much health, like, they, like I said, they're pretty fair, but I'm fucking dead. Oh god, I'm not. Oh god, oh god, oh god, how am I doing this? Help me. Oh, fucking... Uh... <laughs> that was... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay. Yeah, I did it. Woo! Holy fucking shit, now I have an extra life. That's good. Uh, there's some more obnoxious flashing. Whew, okay. This is the second to last world. Man, I'm doing way better than before. Um, practice pays off. That's how you do every, every video game. Oh god, oh god, oh god, hats. Oh god, hats. Oh god, hats. He just doesn't, he just doesn't stop. It takes him so long to stop, and it's, it's, I think it's random, actually. It doesn't seem based on, like, what I do. It seems like he just, like, he just throws hats until he doesn't feel like throwing hats anymore. Which is his prerogative, I guess. I mean, like, you wouldn't normally be afraid for your life if somebody was throwing hats around on the street, but when it's a gremlin, it, oh, fuck, oh god, okay. Only took one damage, I'm okay. Um, at this point, since I have this, like, five-shot bow, 
I can basically just do this. And anything that's going to come at me will, uh... Not. <laughs> like, it'll be dead before it reaches the screen. Um, but there are certain enemies that that doesn't really work for. Life! Nice! I keep getting lives. Not every store, uh, contains lives. But it's not random, it's, like, based on what level you're on. But you definitely want to find the store in every level. Oh my god, stop with the hats! Yeah, I know, you're very proud of yourself. You do your little pose, like, look at me, I'm magic! And I hate you, and I want you to die. Which is kind of a weird thing to say after you've already killed someone. Just looking down at their corpse, saying, I want you to die! I want you to die more than you already did. Okay, alright, alright. That's fine, that's fine. Now I can say I want you to die because you're not dead yet. You didn't even let me finish my sentence before dying. Okay, see, this is like a fucking trick. This, like, there's no way to go this way. You have to fucking do this. And this is just there to fuck with you. Okay. This is easier than it was when I was practicing. But I guess that's because I was... Get the fuck out of here! God! Alright, now I've only got one health for the boss. But I have a million lives. Oh wait, I'm not on the boss. Fuck! <laughs> okay, you know, it starts you facing down. And you're like, oh, I should walk down. There's nothing down here. You walk. It lets you walk all the way down there. And the screen scrolls and everything. And there's stuff down there. And there's, there's fucking nothing. There's, there's nothing. There's no reason to go down there. Um, I never even got this far as a kid. Um, but I think I watched my uncle play this a lot, because I remember the ending pretty well. And I know for a fact I never got to the ending when I was little. But, um, I'm sure he did. My uncle was very, very good at video games. Or at least it seemed that way when I was little. He was probably, you know, normal. No offense if you're watching this, Brendan, but I don't think you're superhuman at video games. I just think you're... Pretty cool, Uncle. And I am rocking this shit better than I ever imagined I could as a kid. Huh? Oh, that. Okay. The little middle part hurts you just as much as the spike ball, which makes about as much sense as anything else in an NES game. I don't. Oh yeah, the store is over this way. And it's cool for a platformer. Um to encourage exploration in a very small way. Um, it sort of, like, it makes you explore to find a shop, right? But it never makes you, like... Like, it's not a game about exploring. It's not Zelda. And it never tries to be Zelda. But, it does want you to... It doesn't want you to just be walking in a straight line. Like, the designers of this game knew what was up, is what I'm trying to say. Man, speaking of walking in a straight line, I've been playing Knack, and that game is fun as hell, but you sure do walk in a straight line a lot. And I guess there's nothing wrong with that in a game like Knack, because it's really, it's about the combat, and the combat's really fun. But, I don't know, it just bothers me. Something about games where all you do is walk in a straight line really bothers me. <laughs> um, there was one section that was pretty cool, it was kind of like stealth and you had a, a more open area, but that was one section out of 30. Um, I'm not done with it yet, but I, I, I like it. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say it like I don't like it. Anyway, this guy is a fucking asshole because, first of all, <laughs> he's got a gun, but it hardly goes, like, it travels, his bullets travel less than the length of his body, which doesn't makes sense, but, um, every once in a while, like, the gun isn't even the threat here. It's that every once in a while, he won't stop to shoot, and he'll just fucking charge at you, and you don't know when he's gonna do it. And I really like the background here, with all the gremlins on the side, like, cheering from the sidelines. I fucking love that. Anyway, this is the last world, and it's, 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 it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Oh, yeah, so, now I have a bow that shoots huge, exploding arrows. I replayed this a couple years ago, and I was like, there's no way 
that that was in the movie. But it kind of is. He fashions like this little um, bow and arrow out of a you know match and a paper clip or something. And um, I don't remember Gizmo being that small, but that's not really the point. Um, oh fuck. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. I guess I always thought that this movie, that this game, extrapolated on the movie more than it actually does. I thought it just like made a bunch of shit up. And I am not hitting the jump button. Oh yeah, this part's kind of crazy because it you it won't spawn you on the conveyor belts. So you have to go all the way back if you fall. Ah, oh, god damn it. I I always fall there. And then it's like, here, look at all of this stuff that you'll have to do again. Look at it real nice and slow. I know you loved doing that. Um the trick to these little bomb things is actually to jump toward them. Because when they explode, they only explode three points. Or three, you know, three little bullets. And none of the... they don't go backwards. They go, you know, forward and to the sides. So if you actually, if you jump like straight fucking into them, they don't hurt you. Even if you land like right where they were, they don't hurt you. And every NES game has little tricks like that to learn. And I guess I'm just biased toward this one because I learned it. But, I don't know, I just fucking love this game. Um, I'm glad, I'm glad I, I got the opportunity to share it with all of you. Huh? Huh? Alright, alright hats, alright motherfucking hats McGee over here. I don't have time for your magic tricks. I only have half a heart left. And you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Stop, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm just gonna leave. Fuck you. Lives. Man. Sometimes I forget that you can just leave. Like, oh yeah, this part's tricky. Um, because, again, you think that you shouldn't jump right where the bombs are, but that's exactly what you have to do. This part's also hard. This would be much easier if I had a balloon, but... Uh, I'm just gonna fucking book it. <laughs> like, fuck that. <laughs> okay, here we go. I have more than enough lives to do this. Which is crazy. I have never, I have never, like, done this before. I'm, like, fulfilling my childhood dreams. Okay, I, I should probably, like, not do that. I still have lives. It's okay. Don't panic. This thing is fucking terrifying, though. Like, I remember seeing my uncle do this um, when I was little. And this thing is fucking terrifying. <laughs> and I just gotta keep doing it. Just keep fucking doing it. Oh, we're almost there. Actually, I don't think he can come back at this phase. Not to ruin the illusion, but I don't. I think he's dead. Yeah! We did it! Man, that was a good time. Look at all those gremlins. All those fun, wacky characters you got attracted to, they're gonna fucking die. Gremlins is always kind of interesting, because it's like, the whole goal of the movie is to like, literally destroy the gremlins, and it's like, it's pretty graphic sometimes too. Ah, there's the there's the horrible flashing that I was talking about, and it's still doing it. It's like here, want to watch this cutscene? No, you'd rather have your fucking eyes burst out of your skull. I don't know, man. But so Gremlins went out of the way to make the characters kind of like quirky, like the villains, uh, and then kill them brutally. And I, I I don't know, it's interesting. I like I like weird horror like that. Um. But wow, I beat that much more efficiently than I ever expected to. Thank you for joining me on this amazing journey through my very, I can't even call it my childhood, like my fucking babyhood. Um, look at how small the team was, too. It was like, what, like four people? This game's fucking crazy. I have a lot of uh, respect for this game. And I am glad I got to share it with you, even though I already said that. So I hope you'll join me for something else in the future. 
Good evening. And no, wait. Good evening is a greeting. Why is good evening a greeting, but good night is a farewell? Good night.